in alignment with Justin Trudeau's critique of the Liberal Party's push for a robust government. Pierre Poilievre concurs, deeming it a peril to personal liberties and individual sovereignty. And then, to close it off, we got some of the most hair-raising ideological fervor from the minister, who says that what Canadians really need is a stronger government. <laughs> well, they have created a stronger government to, in order to make for weaker and more suffering people. This is not a government that gives people everything they want. It's a government that takes everything they have. Yeah. But the good news, Mr. Speaker, is we want big Canadian citizens here, here. with a smaller and more efficient government where the state is servant and not master, where our priorities are clear to ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. And if, as soon as the NDP takes away its support from this prime minister, we will have a carbon tax election where the people will be able to make that decision for themselves in a country where they can earn powerful paychecks that buy affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. The country that we all knew and still love a country based on the common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Overbearing governmental interference erodes civil freedoms while fostering reliance on state apparatus. It prompts reflection on how the perception of governmental authority impacts personal agency and liberty, delving into the ramifications of state oversight on individual choices and behaviors. One must scrutinize how governmental policies mold the fabric of personal identity and societal purpose. I stand in solidarity with Pierre Poilievre's advocacy for a leaner, more effective government that champions individual accountability and Cordell's state intrusion into both the economy and society. I concur that governance should be a servant to the populace rather than a master over their lives. The friction between communal welfare and personal freedom underscores governance dynamics. The repercussions of state dominion and societal cohesion coupled with governmental initiatives engender profound dissonance in individuals' sense of belonging and civic duty within society. Pierre Poilievre's portrayal of the Justin Trudeau administration as one that expropriates from the populace reflects dissent against governmental policies. It's construed as a call for a more equitable dialogue in politics and a reassertion of people power over governmental authority.